in this video I'll focus on what an ion is, right? And to be able to distinguish, which means tell apart atoms and ions. So how are atoms and ions different? I also want to know or show you how the number of protons and electrons will determine what type of ion forms. So it's two different types of ions, positively charged and negatively charged, and I'll show you how those two form. Alright, so um, let's get started. You can remember an atom is the smallest particle that an element is made up of and has an overall neutral charge, which means atoms always have to have the same amount of protons as electrons. Right, so equal amounts of protons and electrons. And the reason being is because, let's say, if we have helium, and helium has an atomic number of two, which means helium must have two protons. So two protons, and that means we have two positive charge because each of the protons is positively charged. Well, what do we have to have? How many electrons do we have to have to make sure that the whole thing is balanced? Well, if we have two positive charges, we also have to have two negative charges. And that's why we have two electrons, because electrons are negatively charged. So two positive and two negative, they will cancel out. And then this will be balanced, right? So it will be neutral. Uh, so remember for atoms, same amount of protons as electrons. But that ions are different, right? So if we have... Uh, ions, they're defined as a charged particle, so not a neutral particle, but a charged particle, uh, that has a different amount of protons and electrons. And there's two examples. So either we can have more protons, so more positive charge than, like, than electrons, negative charge, and then we have a positively charged ion. So for example, if we have sodium, so sodium has the atomic number of 11. So if it has the atomic number 11, that must mean it has 11 protons, because remember the atomic number defines the amount of protons it has. So it must mean we have 11 positive charge. Now, how many electrons could we have to make sure that this whole thing is at the end, not neutral, but positively charged? Well, electrons are obviously negatively charged. Uh, the idea would be we want to have less than 10, uh, sorry, less than 11, right? So if we have anything less than 11, it'll be more plus than minus, which means it has an overall positive charge. So for example, if I grab 10 electrons, so I have 11 protons but 10 electrons, I will have 10 negative charge. And in this case, well, what's 10 minus, uh, 11 minus 10? That's 1. So I basically have 1 extra uh, positive. So I would actually write this as Na, that's the symbol for sodium, and I would have the Na plus because I would have 1 extra positive than negative. Right. On the flip side, if I take chlorine, and chlorine will have the atomic number of 17, so it has 17 protein, uh, protein protons, because it has 17 uh, positive charges, and atomic number 17. So if that's the case, well again, what do I have to, if I want to have a negative charged ion, so if I want to have more electrons than protons, and that gives me a negatively charged ion, if I've got 17 protons, I just need to make sure at the end, I've got more than 17 uh, negative charges. So I would have, well, let's take 18. That's one more than 17. And if I've got seven, 18 electrons, that means I've got 18 negatively charged particles. And that means I've got an overall minus one charge. Right, so this chlorine is not an atom. It's not doesn't have the same amount. It would actually be a Cl minus because i got one more negative than positive charge. So it would have a negative one charge. So this would be a negatively charged ion. This would be a positively charged ion, whereas if it has the same amount, it would be called a atom. That's the difference between atoms and ions. So going back to learning tensions, we want to know what an ion is. And that was a charged particle. Right, so not neutral, but charged particle. And we can either have a negatively charged particle, or we could have a positively charged particle. Uh, we want to distinguish between atoms and ions. So atoms have no charge, which means they have the same amount of positive and negative uh, particles, same amount of protons as electrons, and ions do have a charge, so they either have more protons than electrons, or the other way around, so or more electrons than protons. Right? So um, ions is therefore different to atoms, because atoms have to have the same amount of protons as electrons. And again, we also need to understand how the number of protons and electrons will determine the type of ion formed. Hence, same as up here, right? So we've got more protons 
than electrons. That means we have more positive charge than uh, negative charge, which means we have a positive ion, positively charged ion. And if we have more negative charge than positive charge, so we have more electrons than protons, we would have a negatively charged ion. So those are the two different types of ions you have.